it just really transforms the whole look. Honestly, I would gravitate to my ColourPop powder way before. This is more like a white cast. All of the powder build up. It's white. Hey guys, so today's video I'm finally, I know, finally doing a part two on Pat McGrath. I promised this ages ago and to be honest I kind of forgot because I kept getting like new makeup. I have like a box of stuff I'm testing out and this ended up I guess in the bottom so I can only apologize it's taken me so long. I tested all of these out so I can give you full reviews. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I have one of like the little mini palettes. This is the Eye Ecstasy Sublime for one. Because I thought I'd get more use out of it, but who am I kidding? I have these shades a thousand times over. <laughs> I have one of the matte lipsticks because I love a matte lipstick. So I thought the last one I got was matte, but it ended up being more like a creme finish. So I really wanted to try out one of the matte ones. And I also got one of the ridiculously expensive palettes. And what is hilarious, one I got, what I will say, first of all, like the packaging is so heavy. It's like really luxe. What I will say though is if you have, and some people do, multiples of these, how do you know which one's which unless you're like, ah, oh, the, it doesn't even have the name on it actually. I feel like you'd have to open this, which I would find really frustrating. I mean, I only had one, so I'm fine. And I don't plan on getting another, <laughs> but this is the palette I got. And what's hilarious is that Kathleen Lights, she did a review on Pat McGrath and she actually said this was the least impressive to her, but like, this is the colour story she thinks is kind of boring, that she wouldn't necessarily get, but I love me some cool tones. These gorgeous shades here. So I'd use this and I might use this, but I'll definitely swatch this to show the quality difference between these two. I think this is a good kind of step into Pat McGrath. However, the quality is nothing like these. But anyway, let's get you in so you can see. I've been testing out some e.l.f. products and I will have a review of some new e.l.f. products soon. I'm trying out this putty primer. And it's so annoying having to like dip my finger in so many times because the product is so hard. Like I have to really tug on my eye and eye skin is very sensitive. Skin is also awful and I've been drinking two litres of water every day. So... I'm also testing out some Essence products. I'm going to use this light shade. I don't like to put eyeshadows directly on a tacky base, even though a lot of professionals tell you to. I feel like I get skipping and it ends up that I end up not liking my eyeshadow. I feel like I'm not going to end up using this. I have hardly used this. I used this once and I wasn't impressed. Like, chunkiness? It's pretty. It's really pretty. It's a nice eyeshadow. This one, like, I've never liked these glitter kind of hybrids. I just find them a bit too powdery for glitter shadows. I find these as powdery, so like. I use this palette, I use this duochrome shade, which you'd never think I would normally use. It transforms every eye look and I'm addicted. I'm gonna go in with a bunch of these like cool tone matte shades. one today. Put this on the inner part. I put the electric blue which feels more powdery. It's gonna look really random. Trust the process. That blue has just completely come off. This felt way powdery. You can even probably see in the pan. This one's more like a you know a creamy shimmer whereas this one's more like almost like domed almost baked. Can I rectify this with one of these? Probably not. Put this. To be honest, in the $110 eyeshadow palette, you should like every shade. I'm not saying I don't like the blue, I'm saying that you really have to work with the blue. So I'm just gonna put this down. I'm gonna use my, my Morphe Matte Continuous Setting Mist. It's going on with my setting sprays at the moment. Dip that, the blue. I'm gonna maybe put a blue in the middle. 
Definitely needs setting spray or something. I'm not gonna lie, it's patchy. I don't know if this is because of the eyeshadow primer below, because like I said, I'm testing out this eyeshadow primer and I am not impressed. I've had to dip into this so many times to get a more full blue effect. And I'm just gonna use that purpley kind of shade that I started off with. This is a hot mess. Should I just quit this video? Also, this is so fucking heavy. In a mirror that's not like ridiculously heavy and then I can see. I know what's gonna say this look. I'm gonna use the duo chrome and I'm gonna put that kind of over the top of the blue a little bit. Just gonna pat. So I have a blue base and then this shade all over the top. And no matter what shade you put this over, it just really transforms the whole look. I love this shade. This shade can do no wrong. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll come back for the under eye powder. So I just did my foundation and my concealer. That lighting's better while we have it. Why have I still got hair everywhere? I do my concealer now with a fluffy brush, which seems really weird, but I am over 30 now. I'm gonna be 31. I cannot keep putting a load of concealer under my eyes. My eyes just can't take it. They crunch up a lot. I found that the less product you put under your eyes, the better it will be. Like you'll be less likely to get creasing. I used to put on a lot more concealer, so I'm hoping this is gonna look better. I got light because the next shade is gonna be way too deep for me. It's like light, medium, dark. This thing is so powdery, like, look at that. And it's so white. Why has that come out? I am not having a good day. The last two times I filmed here, it is not going swimmingly. Let's just set this. Who's using this mirror? Because this is curved, oh my God, it's so hard to look into. My under eyes look like I have a white cast. Cast? They look like they have a white cast, but my under eyes for this price should look smooth. My ColourPop powder makes my under eyes look flawless and smooth. This, like, I don't know how well you can see. I can't have it that high up for long because otherwise my eyes are, like streaming. I'm still getting like slight creases. I can understand like I do have lines but like I'm getting really bad creases. It's not my favourite. Honestly I would gravitate to my Colourpop powder way before I grab for this skin fetish powder. <laughs> Let me do the rest of my face and I'll come back for the lipstick. Okay so the matte lipstick. It's another one of these so again I think it would be difficult for me to know which lipsticks which which is frustrating. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell. See how it's white. I don't know if that's what keeps it matte. It doesn't look matte. It's also a lot redder than I thought. I thought this would be more brown. Lightly line my lip. So it's really pigmented. It does not go with this eye look at all. This was a shoddy, quick application. So the quick roundup, I'm sorry that the camera has kind of changed angle, but because of the sun, so Casper's just decided to lie on the countertop and I don't want to disturb him because he's literally falling asleep. Just a quick rundown. I should have palette. Some of them are really nice, but they are super, super powdery. The this is cheaper than like, I want to say like elf kind of packaging. It's so cheap and plastic and flimsy. I thought it might be cute because you can kind of see the shades that just... It's about £20. I think it's not a bad price if you want to just try out. It's a good step in the right direction. If you want to test out one of these bad boys. I love this palette. It's one of my favourite palettes. I go to it a lot when I want to do an eyeshadow look. Basically just for this shade. I will say that Kathleen Knight's also kind of said the cream kind of shades are what is special about these palettes. I think the rest of them, other than this blue, which drove me insane. Like these kind of domed ones aren't the aren't the greatest but the shimmers in here I use this on my inner corner and as a little bit as my highlight the mattes are great i think they blend incredibly the eyeshadow primer i had below i've had nothing but problems with it any blending issues i don't put to this because i've used this multiple times under eye powder it's okay now that i look at my full face done not that i can see much it's just i think i prefer my this is more like a white cast like you can see all of the powder build up in here and the mirror is just useless so i just can't see myself using this i will try and use it up but i'm probably gonna end up trying to sell it to be honest lastly the lipstick 
this isn't matte. I honestly thought this was going to be the mattest, mattest matte lipstick bullet I've ever tried in my life. It just feels like another cream lipstick. It looked kind of matte in the bullet, like because of these like white speckly things all over it, it looks kind of matte. But the second that you put it on, it just feels like a cream lipstick. It doesn't look matte. I've had better. So those are my thoughts on the rest of the Pat McGrath stuff I tried out. There were some hits, there were some misses. If you want to see part one, I will link that above. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please leave this a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you like it. I'd really, really appreciate it. I am going to be doing a video on Eloise, Elf and Ritual de Fee very soon. I'm just testing out a few more of the products and then I will do full reviews on them. So if you want to see that, please subscribe and I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye!